multiply and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Hey! Hello and welcome to another arithmetic video with me, Mr Elliot. In this video, we're going to focus on long division, a topic that fills many of us in here with dread. In this video, we'll be working with whole numbers. All of our divisors will go into the number exactly. Uh, we won't be using any remainders today. When completing a long division problem, there are five really simple steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring it down, and then you go back to the top and you repeat. Here is a wrap from some members of my maths class that help you with the step to success in a slightly more fun way. Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Hey! Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Hey! Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Hey! Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Hey! Here is the first question we're going to go through together. 6,855 divided by 15. Now, although we've got our steps to success, there are two things we need to do before we get to that point. Step one is to write out our question using the formal long division method. We put our dividend, the number we are dividing on the inside of our bus stop, and the divisor on the outside. The next step is to write your multiples. When it comes to writing out your multiples, you need to be conscious of the space you're using on your page. You also need to be aware that writing out multiples is the same as doing repeat addition. So for example, my 15 times tables, or my multiples of 15 start with 15. I then need to add 15 to 15, which makes 30. Now I could mentally work out the rest of my 15 times table, but if I'm struggling, I may choose somewhere else on the page that's not going to interfere with my actual problem, and do a quick calculation to work out what the next number is. When writing out my multiples, I always have two markers. The first marker to check that I've correct is the fifth number in my times table. Now I know because it's a multiple of five, as it's the fifth number uh, in the times table, that it must end in a five or a zero. If the fifth number doesn't end in a five or a zero, you've probably made a mistake, you need to go back and check. I also then look to see the tenth number, although we're not going to use that number, it's nice to put it there as a marker, um, and check that again, that ends in a zero, and it is my divisor multiplied by 10. So 15 times 10 is definitely 150. Um, it's a quick way, an easy way of checking that you haven't made any mistakes with your multiples. So now we are ready to divide. Step one, divide. 15 into six doesn't go. Put a line there to say it doesn't go in. 15 into 68, 15 does go into 68. One, two, three, four times. So there is our division. 68 divided by 15 is four. Divide, multiply. 15 multiplied by four is 60. We're gonna write that underneath. Next step, subtract. We're gonna do 68, take away 60. Eight take away zero. Eight, six take away six, zero. Next step, bring it down. We're gonna bring down the five. And now we repeat. But instead of looking at the dividend here, we're gonna look at the number 85. 15 into 85 goes five times. We're gonna write five above here. 15 multiplied by five is 75. We write that underneath. Subtract. Five times five is zero. Eight take away seven is one, we have uh, uh, 10. Finally, bring it down and repeat it all over again. 15 into 105 goes seven times. Here's another example for us to go to. 15,778 divided by 23. Now, like before, two things we need to do before we get onto our very clear uh, steps to success. Write out the problem. Our dividend goes on the inside. Our divisor on the outside. 
and then we need to write out our multiples. Like before, if you struggle with your multiples, struggle with your 23 times table, like I'm sure most of us do, uh, repeat addition somewhere else on your page. As you can see, I finished writing my multiples, didn't really think about the space I would need on the page. Looking at my markers, the fifth number ends in a five. Might, still might not be correct, but that's a good indicator. And the final number, the tenth number, is 23 multiplied by 10, 230. I probably haven't made any mistakes if I've got the fifth number with a five at the end, or a zero at the end, and the tenth number with a zero at the end. So, like before, 23's into one doesn't go. 23's into 15, doesn't go. 23's into 157, so we're on the divide part. Looking for the one place to 157 down here. Goes into 138, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. Going to write 138 underneath. And then subtract. Remembering if we need to exchange, we need to exchange. Next step, bring it down, and then bring it on back, we repeat. 23 is into 197, goes in eight times. Eight is 184. There's the multiply, subtract. 13, final step, bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six times there. 686. 15,778 divided by 23 is 686. For my final example, I'm going to ask two people to help me. So, Albie and Kai, come here. As I go through the problem, they are going to shout out in true rap style. Uh, the success criteria as I go. So can you stand by my side there, please, you two? You forgot it? Well, that'll be fine. Right, first things first, we write out our question in the formal bus stop method, and then we write out our multiples. Remembering, like before, if you're struggling with your 34 times table, use repeated addition. So you've written out your multiples. We're going to look at our markers again. The fifth number, does it end in five or zero? Yes, it does. And the tenth number, is it your divisor multiplied by 10? 34 times 10 is 340. Yes, it is. First step, boys, is? Divide. Perfect. 34. Divide. Or just multiply. Divide. First step, boys, is? Divide. Divide. There we go. 34 into three, does it go? 34 into 33, does it go? 34 into 333 goes nine times. So we're going to write the nine above. Next step, boys, is? Multiply. multiply. There we go. 34 multiplied by nine is 306. We write that below. The next step, boys, is? Divide. Divide. No, subtract. No, subtract. <laughs> there we go. 333, take away 306. We're going to exchange. 13, take away six is seven. Two, two, three, nothing is two. Zero. So the next step is bring it on bring it down. down. Bring it on bring down. Down the two. Bring it and then bring it on back. We're going to do the same again. 34 into 272 goes in exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. So the answer to three, oh gosh, whatever it is, three, 3,332. That number, 3,302 divided by 34 32. is 98. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the chaos at the end. Um, here's the wrap one more time for you to enjoy. Over to you, boys. Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and bring it on back. Hey!